Veda, day seven. Reasons why faux is amazing. Go! Number one reason why faux is amazing. It costs like seven dollars in change and you get so much. This is all for one person. Just for one person. Number two reason why faux is amazing. A regular bowl cannot contain the awesome that is pho. In order for me to eat pho takeout, I have to get a mixing bowl inside the mixing bowl. Number three reason why pho is awesome. You eat pho with both chopsticks and a spoon. Heck yes. Number four reason why pho is awesome. You get so much food. You get mung bean sprouts and basil and lime. I've never actually put the lime in the pho, but whatever. And that spicy stuff that I always throw out because I can't stand spicy things. You get a gargantuan thing of the broth. And then you get your chives. You get, well, depending on what type of pho you get, you get your chicken. And then you get your delicious rice noodles of deliciousness. Number five. I always get like two freaking meals out of pho. Like I order one serving of pho, bam, two meals. You have dinner and you have lunch the next day. It's awesome. How to make pho, an intermission. To make pho, it's a very simple process. First, you take your bowl. Then, you take your noodles. Put the noodles in the bowl. Number two, put your chicken over your noodles. Number three, Wish you had the foresight to bring a paper towel upstairs. Number four, pour your broth over the noodles. I'm not going to show you this because the broth is really hot and I don't want to lift it up really high and yeah, and stuff and I don't want to make a mess. So just trust me, I'm pouring broth over noodles, swear to God. Yum! Number six, are we on six? I can't remember. Put your chives and onions over top. Number seven, open your bag of extras. Get rid of the spicy stuff. I forgot to mention, you also get these peppery things. I forgot about them because they're also falling to a spicy thing. Put your basil in. Remove other thing. I'm not sure what this is. Number whatever number we're on. Add a healthy amount of mung bean sprouts while saving some for later because you will want to add on more mung bean sprouts. Number whatever number we're on. Stand in freaking glory. It looks so good. The last number. Take your first bite. A shogo. If you haven't had pho, you don't even know. It is so good. That is our final point of what is amazing about pho. It's so freaking good. It's just, it's so good. And this concludes my video about pho. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's video, like the previous two videos, will be posted on my Manga's Love My Boyfriend channel. I'll be back on this channel posting more video, more beta videos on Saturday. And if you're saying, Sarah, you missed two days. No, I did it! They're on my Manga's Love My Boyfriend channel! I'm not a liar! I'm gonna continue eating this now. I forgot to mention. Other great thing about pho, you cannot look attractive eating it. Food that you can't look attractive eating, always so much better. Always. I'm talking with my mouthful. So good!